On this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I promote ClickBank products with a high quality traffic source. We're also gonna be talking about the slippery slope method. We're gonna be talking about this infographic and why these two things are probably the biggest reasons on why you're not making any money with ClickBank. We're also gonna be breaking down step-by-step -step an advertising script that I've been using recently that has worked the best. Anything that I've ever used in my eight years of this online stuff, it's worked the absolute best. We're gonna break that down step-by-step. -step. So make sure to stick around all the way to the end of this video. Hey, what's up guys? Nick Arapkalis here and welcome to today's video. We got a lot in here as I just explained. We're gonna be talking about the slippery slope method. We're gonna be talking about this infographic and then we're gonna talk about an advertising script that I've been using. We're gonna break it down step by step and why it's producing the best results that I've ever experienced in my eight years of doing this type of stuff, okay? So if you've been a subscriber of the channel at, for any point in time, you probably noticed that I made a video very similar to this uh, few videos back and that was part one okay and we talked about the free advertising strategies how to get traffic with free methods and we talked about you know the slippery slope method and this infographic and all that kind of stuff so if you did not watch that make sure and go watch that right here go watch that right now and then come back to this video because it'll make a whole lot more sense but then once you have watched that video come back and we'll talk a little bit more about everything that we have going on here okay so let's do a quick little recap I want to talk about the slippery slope method and how this really applies to any type of traffic source, no matter if you are doing free traffic or you're doing paid traffic, it really does not matter. Let's talk about this slippery slope method so that you can understand this stuff and then go apply it and use whatever type of traffic source that you want. So let's come on over to my computer screen and this is pretty messy drawing. But um, again, if you watch the previous video, it'll make a little bit more sense. But again, let's recap it a little bit. So basically right here, this guy right here, is our sales mechanism. You know, you get your link from ClickBank. Again, um, I've made tons of videos. In fact, one of my most popular videos, this one right here, uh, breaks down everything you need to know in terms of like getting your links and all that kind of stuff. Um, but once you know how to do that, then you come over to this guy and this is where you would actually send traffic and that's where, you know, if, per if someone actually purchases, then you earn a commission. Okay. And what we're really looking for roughly with ClickBank products and really products on gen in general online is a one to 2% conversion ratio. Okay. Meaning one to two people out of a hundred for every hundred people you send to this page, they're going to purchase. Okay. So you can't be expecting 50 out of hundred people to purchase. That's just not realistic. Okay. Only one to 2% of people are actually going to purchase on the first exposure. Okay, so understand that and realize that because a lot of people they think they send like 12 visitors to their site, their affiliate site, and then all of a sudden they don't make any sales and they're like, oh, this doesn't work or I don't know what's going on, it's not working. But you need to send at least 100, probably more like a couple hundred to really figure out if your traffic source and everything that you're doing is working. So let's come in and talk about the slippery slope method a little bit more in depth. Okay, so what a lot of people will do is they'll take you know this traffic source that they have whatever the traffic source they have and they'll just send it directly to this page and they won't even think about the messaging within their traffic that's one big thing right away but the the, the fact that they're just sending people directly to this page is going to limit the amount of money that they're going to be able to make okay because you know one to two percent that's you know unless you're getting hordes of traffic for free which is not the easiest thing to do, you're, you're not gonna be making a ton of money. And even if that is the case, like you would be leaving so much money on the table, okay? So the big thing with the slippery slope method is you need to get your messaging down first, okay? So the example that I went with would, was how to lose weight with the keto diet, or it really could be anything. It could be how to gain muscle with the intermittent fasting as I talk about on one of the previous videos, or it could be how to grow heirloom tomatoes, okay? Um, with organic soil, let's just call it that, a very niche. Um, so it, let's, 
well, let's just stick with this one because it's a little bit more simple and helps people understand. So how to lose weight with a keto diet. So that would be your main messaging and that would be the main hook within this product. Okay, let's say that is the, pro the hook within this product. Gosh, this is getting messy at this point. Um, but in your traffic, whether you're using you know paid traffic or you're using free traffic, whatever it is, your messaging has to be very tight. It has to be very congruent with what it is on this main page. Okay, so that would be the main thing that you're talking about how to lose weight with the keto diet. You can give some value on how to lose weight with the keto diet, and then you can give them a call to action to say, hey, if you want to learn more about this, go to this site and it'll t teach you more about how to, how to lose weight with the keto diet. So, what a lot of people, again, will, they'll send them directly to this page, which, again, you're only getting a 1 to 2% conversion rate. So, what I recommend instead, you send them to a bridge page, okay, and what I like to call a lead capture page because of the fact that um, you know you want to follow up with them via email because you know again one to two percent is not going to get you rich by any means okay so let's bring up this infographic this is what I'm talking about here okay this is the this infographic is amazing you know it says the fortune is the follow-up two percent of sales are made on the first contact like we talked about three percent of sales are made on the second contact five percent of sales are made on the third contact ten percent of sales are made on the fourth contact eighty percent of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact okay so you want to be contacting people five to 12 times if you really want to scoop up the majority of your sales most people don't do that okay 48 percent of people never follow up 25 percent only make a set or they make a second contact and stop and then only 12 people will make more than three contacts so if you can just contact people more than or three or more times you're going to set yourself so much further above the rest of the people okay so that kind of goes hand in hand with why would we send traffic directly here because then that would only be one contact okay we want to send them to a bridge page where they have to put their email address in and it indoctrinates them a little bit further and it talks a little bit more about how to lose weight with a keto diet making it slippery making it congruent okay then they put their email address in they get redirected to this page where still one to two percent of the people are going to purchase but then at the same time it's 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 adding to our database of email or sms or whatever you want to do and then we have you know we're getting hundreds of people on this list maybe even thousands maybe even tens of thousands okay i've built up lists of you know multiple tens of thousands probably even hundreds of thousands at this point and then imagine that imagine if you had a thousand people that you could write one email and then send them directly back to that page okay don't you think you know one to two percent of those thousand people are going to purchase and you can continue to do that over and over and over again okay and then you can do that five to twelve times and that would be advantageous because 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact, okay? So once you have that slippery slope, once everything's congruent from your traffic, from your bridge page to your sales page, when it's very slippery, very congruent, and then you're building up an email list and you're continuing to make that slippery as well with the same message, everything just makes a little bit more sense. And then on top of that, you can start promoting other ClickBank products, okay? Up here, right here. And you can send your emails to these products instead of just the regular product. Okay, so that's why you want to be building some modality in terms of following up with people. Okay, so you can see that it really doesn't matter. Like traffic, it's it's something that you absolutely need, of course, but it's not the the primary focus that everyone is focusing on. Where it should be like, oh, if I just get this secret infinite loop of traffic, then that's gonna solve all my ClickBank products problems. Okay, that's not the that's not the issue. You want to get very slippery with your slope. You want to get very congruent with everything. You want to set everything up. You want to make sure your emails are dialed in. And the other thing with email is cool is you can set this up automatically. So when they put in their email address, and then they go to the sales page. They're added to your email database, and then they are sent automatic emails following up. Okay, it's pretty cool stuff. We talk a lot more about that kind of stuff, the the details of that at mentornick.com. So you can feel free to check that out. It's in the link description. But you can see this you can see that traffic is not the main focus and you shouldn't be like just oh the traffic it should be all that type of stuff set up and then we talk about traffic okay so again on the previous video on this video we talked all about free traffic and now there's three different things on how you can really grow your social media traffic for free okay but i want to talk about a little bit more leveraged way on how to do that on this video because it made you know obviously on the previous video i talked about if you guys would like to learn more about pay traffic and how it's a little bit more leveraged then i want to talk about that here on this video and again it kind of comes in line with what are you saying on your ads okay it doesn't like people are just like oh you got to run facebook ads or you got to run youtube ads and that's that's the secret but 
Yes, I mean, that is to a degree, but you also have to be very aligned with what you're saying in your video. So that's why I want to share with you the advertising script. Okay. So let's open this guy up. So here is the ad structure and it's, I use this mostly on YouTube because it's working gangbusters right now. I mean, we're scheduling like appointments for like 20 bucks, <laughs> which is insane. Uh, most people are shooting for like 100, 150, maybe even 200. We're getting like $20 phone calls booked. Okay. Um, so this works really well. And this kind of goes along with the lines with what I talked about on the previous videos, all about results. Okay. You have to be constantly sharing results, 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 results. I'm just going to keep on hammering you guys with that. You have to keep on sharing results. That's the most important part. So if you're promoting a ClickBank product, then you have to be constantly showing off the results that people are getting from that particular product. Okay. And it's no different on an advertising script. Okay. So I'm just going to run through this with you guys, share this with you. And this doesn't even necessarily need to be on a um, paid ad or anything like that, but I just like paid ads because they're very leveraged. Okay. You don't have to keep on making content with free traffic. You have to keep on consistently making content every day. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe not every day, but very on a very consistent basis. Okay. With paid advertising, you make one piece of content and then you just put money into it and then it just keeps on getting more exposure to more and more people. You don't have to keep on making content. You just have to put in more money. Okay. And as long as it's working, as long as it's producing a positive ROI, then obviously you're going to keep on putting more money in. So let's talk about the script. Okay. So the first five seconds is a weird testimonial. You could say, Hey, um, this is Dave. And with this one quick little thing that had something to do with the keto diet, he was able to drop 50 pounds in seven weeks. And then, um, you want to back up that story. And obviously all this type of stuff, it has to be true. You have to be, you know, ethical with this type of stuff. You can't just be making stuff up. Um, but you want to back up these stories with other proof because you know, you share that one testimonial and people are like, Oh, well that's some isolated incident. And you have to say, Oh no, that was not an isolated incident because Kathy, she, she lost 50 pounds and Steve, he lost 75 pounds and Eric lost six pounds in one day or, you know, whatever it is, but share all the results and just keep on stacking the results. And then what you want to do is say, Hey, um, make these things simple. Okay. Very simplified being like, Hey, this was, um, very, a very quick and easy way to actually lose weight with the keto diet. Okay. It wasn't complex by any means. You want to simplify it. And the next thing that you want to do is kind of give a call to action and say, Hey, you know, all these people had amazing results and it's because they saw this one specific training. Okay. And if you would like to see this specific training, you just, all you gotta do is click the link on this video. Okay. Say I could, I could, I would love to explain here, but I just don't have the time on this quick little video on a quick little ad video. Um, I'll take you over to this video and share with you exactly how this all works. Okay. And here's where you could send them. Like, honestly, you could send them directly to the um, sales page after you get them to opt in, or you could actually create your own little lead magnet that, you know, you're building your list and you're giving value and you're sharing all the results, but you're also sharing the techniques of how to lose weight with the keto diet. The next thing that you want to do is handle objections, so to speak. So a lot of people will think like, Oh, well, these people were all superhuman or these people were all just like, they already knew how to lose weight and all that kind of stuff. So people already have these preconceived notions in their head. You want to address them. So you could say, you know, a lot of these people started out, they tried all these different things. They can never lose weight and they almost gave up on losing weight. But because of this secret little keto technique that we share with them, they were able to get massive results. So you're just handling objections. You're just counting your objections and you're just making it. So it's normal. It's for everybody. It's not for anybody that's special. Okay. And then you give another call to action. Same as before, add a little scarcity in it. Say, Hey, we don't know how much longer we're going to keep this training up because you know, we don't want um, this, this technique to get out to too many people. Cause then it will be less effective or something like that. And then the end of your, um, ad would be something like just a little last section to say, Hey, click the link, click the link, click the link. Okay. It's not complicated. Okay. Again, you share a weird testimonial or make it kind of sound a little weird. And then you back it up with a bunch of other results. Then you give a call to action and saying, Hey, we have a free training that teaches all about this. And then you handle objections and then you add a little scarcity and then you give another call to action. Okay. It's not too complicated. Um, but the big key is sharing results. And that's what we talked about on the previous video as well. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's regular traffic, it's free organic traffic or your paid traffic, you want to be always sharing results. And whether that's on your, you know, your content on your social media, your ads, or it's on your bridge page, or it's on your email follow-up, or it's on, you know, the ClickBank 
site that you're that's actually selling them you always want to share results okay if you can do that it's going to increase your conversion that's going to lower your cost per conversion and you're just going to be able to do a lot more with it okay guys Thank you for watching this video. Let's recap a little bit, just talking about this. You have to use the slippery slope method. That's the first thing that you actually have to do. You don't have to worry so much about traffic. You have to worry about setting up your slippery slope because then everything becomes a lot more effortless and then traffic becomes a little bit more simple. You also wanna keep in mind that the most amount of sales is gonna come from your fifth to 12th exposure, okay? Most people don't buy on their first, second, third, or fourth, but most people buy on their fifth to 12th exposure, okay? And once you have that, utilize this ad structure, whether that's on your free organic traffic, your paid traffic, whatever the traffic source that you're using, use this ad structure and, and understand that results are everything, okay? If you don't have results, you it's, not, it's just not gonna be as effective. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure and subscribe to the channel. If you guys got value out of this, make sure and share this with some friends. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Uh, let us know what you got down. Let, let, let us know what you got out of this video down in the comments below. But thanks for watching the video guys. Appreciate your time and we'll see you on the next one. Tonight.